good afternoon students the networking topic in this uh, yesterday we discuss about the term internet and uh, www so internet international network so what is network uh, when we interconnect two or more computers we will we get internet network so here internet is a global network international network so this uh, definition of uh, internet is it is a computer based worldwide worldwide means global worldwide communication network network which is composed of large number of large number of smaller interconnected network so in short we can say internet is a global network it is a network of a network theek okay? hai so it is a computer based worldwide communication network so aap with the help of internet we can communicate with any part of your country or even with the other person maybe abroad ठीक है तो आप किसी के साथ आप इन टच कर सकते हो बट हियर इज ए डब्ल्यू 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 इट इज ए सर्विस ऑफ इंटरनेट तो इंटरनेट इज ए ग्लोबल टर्म बट डब्ल्यू 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 इज ए पार्ट ऑफ इंटरनेट तो इट स्टैंड फॉर वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब तो इट्स डेफिनेशन इज it is a set of programs standards and protocols that allow the multimedia and hyper text files to be created displayed and linked on the internet so ww w is a term that is used for using multimedia component so what is multimedia component multimedia component means ek a file that contain more than one media otherwise aap text use karte ho aap use karte ho uh image video but in case you are using more than one media in same file it is called multimedia so www is used for assessing creating and displaying multimedia pages multimedia page pages means web pages so yahan pe www ka meaning hai web pages it means whenever you are open the web page in your browser it means you are using www so there is a difference between internet and www so www is a part of internet but internet is not a part of www so it is a broad meaning of internet broad meaning but narrow meaning of www 
So this is a, a definition of WWW. And it was proposed by Tim Werner Lee. Tim Werner in 1989 to 1991. So you can say the inventor of WWW, Tim Werner Lee, the invention was in 1989 to 1991. Now next is, so uh, in internet, there are different services. So here is, Services of internet. So I have discussed here www. Emails are there. Then user net is there. Forms are there. There is a internet relay chat. So different services are there. And www is a part of a internet services. Now we are going to discuss some uh, terms, important terms. First is client. So a computer that is connected to a network is called client computer. Because whenever you are using internet, it means you are a client. Your machine is a client machine, okay? Because you are connected with the local web server. So this is called client. So any computer on network that requests service from other computer that is a server is called client. So here, whenever you are in, using internet, you are a your computer is a client computer. Second one, server. The main service of server is to provide services to the client. So if any client needs a web page, the server provides that. Okay? It's not necessary that the server has web pages on you. Because the web, uh, the web pages are saved in different servers. In that case, your local server will get the, receive the, your request and fulfill that request. It is called server. So the main computer of your computer system is called server. Clear? So server, any, any computer that receives the request from the client computer, process it and send the output. But there are different types of servers. There are clients, there are web servers. There is a database server there are email server so according to the nature of your work there are different type of servers so agar aapke server mein web pages save hai it means you are using web server if in the server databases are saved it is called database server if emails are saved it is called email server. Next is, now there is a one term that is called web page. Okay, any student better give the answer, what is web page? Unmute yourself and give the answer, what is web page? Class 10. Yes, Peter. Yes, Ashima. Bhumika. Sir, it is a hypertext document. Uh, no, it's not exact uh, definition. Web pages are the multimedia pages. Okay. When you have multimedia document, it is a multimedia document. Why it is called multimedia document? Uh, because here we use text, uh, we can use audio, we can use video. You can use image. So multimedia 
document saved in in a server where server is called web page so it is a document multimedia document so any digital page or document hosted on internet so koi bhi digital page or document saved in server is called web page clear now next is website so what is the uh, meaning of website beta yes very simple definition website so a collection of interlinked or interconnected web pages is called website तो आपके पास कोई भी वेब पेजेस फॉर एग्जांपल यू ओपन द स्कूल वेबसाइट देयर इज अ सिंगल पेज व्हेन वी आर कनेक्टिंग दीस वेब पेज डिफरेंट पेजेस वी गेट अ वेबसाइट क्लियर तो वेबसाइट प्रोवाइड द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और पर्सन किसी भी एंटिटी के बारे में इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोवाइड करती है देन नेक्स्ट इज वेब पोर्टल so web portal is a website that provide us variety of services for example uh, it provide the email facility it provides different forums maybe search engine theek hai aur there may be a uh, एक एक वेबसाइट जो डिफरेंट सर्विसेज प्रोवाइड करती है ठीक है एक से ज्यादा सर्विस प्रोवाइड कर रही है दैट इज कॉल्ड वेब पोर्टल तो दिस इज एग्जांपल ऑफ वेब पोर्टल नेक्स्ट इज वेब ब्राउजर तो इट इज ए एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर बाय यूजिंग दैट वी कैन ओपन द वेबसाइट in our computer system so it is an application software so web browser it is a program or software on client computer that retrieve information from web theek okay? hai so there are different web browsers like internet explorer there is a google chrome there is a mozilla firefox then there is a netscape then mosaic then opera safari these are the examples of web browsers okay so here is internet explorer or present time in a window 10 this is a edge not a internet explorer now safari is there so there these are different uh, type different browsers next is url it stands for uniform resource locator uniform so uniform resource locator this is the unique text based address given to any web resource तो आपके पास डिफरेंट वेब रिसोर्सेज आर देयर लाइक इमेज है आपके पास वेब पेजेस है तो आपके पास यूआरएल किसी भी वेब रिसोर्स के लिए टेक्स्ट बेस्ड एड्रेस है इट इज यूनिक एड्रेस फॉर एग्जांपल
okay this is the url so uh, next is blocks basically blocks are your customized uh, web pages your personal web pages that are free of cost clear so when you can create blog with your for blogger websites then you uh, you can publish your contents your post and in this post of the post you can get the comments so aap ek apni personal web web page aap create kar sakte ho without any cost with the help of a blogger so it is a you can also use the word web blogger theek hai blog is a web page that's serve as a publicity accessible personal journal for a individual a blog is frequently updated online so aapke paas ek personal web page create ho jayega and you can publish your information there that is called post next is blogger the person who is using the blog is called blogger a blogger is one who uh, writes and updates the entries in the in his or her blog the, the person kisi ki bhi blog ko write karega aur usme updation karega that person is called blogger next is blogging the process of writing any blog is called blogging clear if you are uh, posting something in blog it means you are blogging next is news groups so news groups are internet discussion forums forum theek okay? hai where groups of uh, same topics are involved and interact with each other they post and after that there are comments are there so these are forums the different uh, groups are there so these are called news groups next is email it stands for electronic mail a message sent from one email id to another email id okay so you can open any uh, your uh, this can be done with the help of email id you can create a email id in any email service provider website like uh, gmail yahoo okay for this for sending email you need email id address ya email id theek hai for example abc@yahoo.com here abc is a username okay at the rate is a separator yahoo.com it is called host or domain name so i am here different parts of your email is number 1 username your username is it then number 2 here is separator it is at the rate side and number 3 here is host or domain name that is yahoo dot so these are the websites that provide email facility so these are the different parts of your email address so for sending or receiving you must have one unique email address now we are going to discuss these terms in detail so here is the first term is so here we discuss world wide web web server web client client computer is called web web client website web page web browser blog 
news group now there are some more terms internet web address email address downloading and uploading the files internet protocols are there so according to the uh, now next topic is okay so uh, when you discuss server so server is the main computer that provides services so your computer may be web server or the uh, domain name system server or uh, database server so aapke paas jo bhi aapne server aapne banaya hai to wo web server bhi ho sakta hai server bhi but there is a difference between server and web server so there are a, a server and the main computer that provide services is called server web server is a server that provide web pages in this we store only the web pages so there are different uh, services of a server to so server ki alag alag services hai तो वो हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं ये सर्विसेज सर्वर की एंड नॉट ए वेब सर्वर वन इज इक्विपमेंट और रिसोर्स शेयरिंग third one we will discuss these one by one so these are the different services of a server so with the help of one diagram i am showing the work of a server Okay, students. Suppose I am having a uh, one server, main comp one computer that is called client computer here. Here is a client computer. Then here is server, web server, a server. to request uh, this client make a request to the server and then server reply so there is request and reply so here is a request and here reply reply by 
client uh, reply by server request is by client and reply is by server so this is the working of a web server theek hai to server ya web server aise services provide karega ab now there are some services of a server equipment or resource sharing जब भी आपके पास सर्वर के साथ आप कनेक्ट हो जाते हो तो आपको आप रिसोर्स शेयर करना शुरू कर देते हो फॉर एग्जांपल आई हैव वन सर्वर एंड देर आर डिफरेंट कंप्यूटर कनेक्टेड विद दैट एंड If any resource is attached with the server, I can use that. The client can use that. For example, client computer में तो printer नहीं है. अगर हम client computer में print की command देंगे तो अगर कोई printer server के साथ connected है, then we will we can get the print out. तो कोई भी server के पास अगर resource है और you can say any device equipment anything that can be shared. by these client computers this is the first service of which one service of a server server equipment or resource sharing next is centralized file sharing for data sharing so aapke paas sari ki sari files isme save hai सर्वर में तो हेयर वी हैव नंबर फॉर फाइल्स एंड दीज फाइल्स कैन बी ओपन बाय क्लाइंट कंप्यूटर तो आप अलग अलग क्लाइंट्स को ये फाइल्स शेयर कर सकते हो इन सर्वर इन दैट केस इट मींस ए कॉमन फाइल कैन बी शेयर इन डिफरेंट कंप्यूटर्स सो दिस इज कॉल्ड फाइल शेयरिंग देन नेक्स्ट इज सेंट्रलाइज virus scanning so if we scan these files saved in server and uh, we find there is no any virus it means your your network is protected so us case mein aap scanning clients ki karne ki zarurat nahi hai aap server ki scanning karenge aur aapko virus ki information mil jayegi next is central backup so aap एनी कम फाइल्स की बैकअप दे सकते हो सेंट्रलाइज बैकअप तो इन प्लेस ऑफ कीपिंग दी डाटा इन डिफरेंट कंप्यूटर्स क्लाइंट कंप्यूटर वी कैन कीप दी डाटा वी कैन सेव दी डाटा इन सर्वर सो इट विल प्रोवाइड आज सेंट्रल्ड स्कैनिंग एंड सेंट्रल्ड बैकअप भूमिका क्लियर यस सर इट इज क्लियर ओके बेटा नाउ There are some services of web server. अब मैं ये services बता रहा हूँ ये web server की हैं, ठीक है? So the web services, different services are number one, serving. Web page pages. The so first service of web server is providing providing the web pages. So, कोई भी आपके पास अगर web server है, तो वो आपको web pages provide करेगा. Second one, running gateway programs. it is called cgi and returning output so beta uh, web pages mein scripts hoti hain to aapke paas web servers in script ko run karta hai aur aapke paas output dekhta hai for example in in case of your uh, uh, google drive if you are using any spreadsheet and you are adding two numbers 
and the program is saved in server and that is implementing the result and you are getting only result to uski jo script hai kisi bhi program ko chalane ke liye to wo kaun execute karta hai server third one controlling access to the server तो कौन सा पर्सन कौन सा यूजर इस वेब पेज को सर्च कर रहा है इसको कौन सा नहीं करेगा इसका सारा का सारा कंट्रोल किसके पास होता है वेब सर्वर्स के पास नंबर फोर मॉनिटरिंग एंड लॉगिंग ऑल असेस तो जितने भी आपके वहां वेब सर्वर में लॉगिंग हुए हैं इन सारे के सारे डिटेल वेब सर्वर मेंटेन करते हैं नंबर फाइव सर्वर साइड स्क्रिप्टिंग तो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस देर आर डिफरेंट स्क्रिप्ट्स क्रिएटेड इन एएसपी पीएचपी और अदर स्क्रिप्टिंग लैंग्वेज तो तो इन लैंग्वेजेस में जो आपके पास वेब पेजेस बने हैं उनकी प्रोसेसिंग सर्वर में होती है बिकॉज दीज आर सर्वर साइड स्क्रिप्टिंग लैंग्वेज देर आर सम क्लाइंट साइड स्क्रिप्टिंग लैंग्वेज लाइक देर आर सम क्लाइंट साइड स्क्रिप्टिंग लैंग्वेजेस लाइक जावा स्क्रिप्ट और वीवी स्क्रिप्ट इसकी प्रोसेसिंग क्लाइंट के कंप्यूटर में होती है इट मींस वी रिसीव दी स्क्रिप्ट इन क्लाइंट कंप्यूटर एंड द क्लाइंट कंप्यूटर विल एक्सिक्यूट दैट स्क्रिप्ट एंड यू विल गेट द रिजल्ट बट इन द केस ऑफ सर्वर साइड स्क्रिप्टिंग लैंग्वेज द एग्जीक्यूशन द स्क्रिप्ट इज एक्सिक्यूटेड बाय सर्वर एंड द क्लाइंट विल गेट द रिजल्ट ओनली सो दीस आर द डिफरेंट सर्विसेज ऑफ Web server. Now next is okay, students. Uh, in any website, there are some components. So, kisi bhi website ke kuch components hai. so these components are web host so web host means the server in which web, your website is saved koi bhi website jis server mein save hoti hai use kehte hain web host then address the url of any website is called address home page the first page of any website is called home page design the look of your web page is called design here we apply different css then content the material may be in the shape of text or table or uh, video these are called contents then last one is navigation structure So navigation structure means the way to uh, connecting different uh, web pages with the help of hyperlink. This is called navigation structure. Okay, students. Uh, tomorrow we will con. Uh, Monday we will continue with the uh, the internet topics. Now time is over. Now I am going to close the meeting.